Hi everyone, my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be giving you your ultimate beginner's guide to using Wondershare Filmora X for video editing. This is going to be perfect for beginning YouTubers who don't know how to edit or people looking to get into video editing as a hobby or even a profession. This is going to be very simple, basic beginner editing with Wondershare Filmora X, but I think it is perfect for anybody who is just starting out to use. I have been using Wondershare Filmora for almost three years now and I love it and have used it to edit hundreds of videos including YouTube videos, school projects, and outside editing jobs. My number one question in video request is how to edit, what editing software do you use, tell me how to edit, help me, help me. So I am finally giving it to you guys. The other reason I am finally doing it is because I am actually going to be moving on from Wondershare for more in the near future and using a new and more professional software. But this is kind of my ode to Wondershare for more because I love the software so much. So what is Wondershare for more? Wondershare Filmora X is a beginning video editing software that is also very powerful and affordable. Wondershare Filmora is free to download, however, you can also buy it to remove the watermark. Wondershare Filmora costs $40 for a year or $80 for permanent removal of the watermark. And it was 100% worth it. I have used it for so many things that have definitely made back what I spent on it. So I think it's worth it personally and it's a lot cheaper than a lot more professional and expensive editors tend to be. To download Wondershare Filmora for free today, go to www.wondershare.com and you can find it and follow the instructions to download it on your computer. On Wondershare Filmora, you may notice that you can download both Wondershare Filmora X and Wondershare Filmora Pro. I don't know the big differences between the two, but I just know that Pro is a more expensive and more powerful and professional video editor. I'm going to be talking about Filmora X in the video because that's the one I have experience with, but just know that that is another option. Now let's get into how to actually edit your videos. So when you first open up Wondershare for more, you'll see a screen that says new project and open project. Also make sure it's on 16 by 9 widescreen, which makes sure it is the format of a YouTube video. However, if you're editing something, for example, Instagram, you would want to make it one by one, whatever perspective you need. <laughs> you want to click on new project. This is what Wondershare for more looks like when you open up a brand new project. As you can see, there is a little area to import your footage. Lots of tools up at the top to add in things, which we will show in a little bit. And then the main editing timeline down below. There's also a preview box where you can see what your footage looks like. The first thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is import your footage. To import your footage, click on this big plus button on the screen. You can drag them and drop them directly into that area, or you can click there to upload them, which is what I usually do. Also note that you can make folders to keep certain files in there at all times. For example, I keep my intro file in there at all times so I don't have to import it every time. Select your files and then click open, and they will automatically be added and processed into your project. Once you have your videos in your little project media folder, you can click on it and drag it onto the timeline. And this is where you can actually start editing. The first thing I'm going to teach you guys how to do is how to cut and trim your videos. For example, in our beginner footage, we want to cut out the very beginning part where I wasn't saying anything. In order to do that, you just need to simply go on the edge of the footage where it gets highlighted and then drag to wherever you want the video to start. Then you have made a trim. Once the video is in the timeline, you can easily watch your video by clicking the space bar and it'll start playing it. Now let's say I messed up in the middle of the video and I want to completely cut a section out of the video. The first thing I would do is scroll the playhead to the moment where I would start to mess up. Then I would click these big scissors right in the middle to split the video. Then I would play it or move the playhead until I finish messing up. And then I click the scissors again. Now all there is to do is delete the middle clip. So you can click on it and then click either the trash bin or your delete button on your keyboard. And that'll get rid of that section of video. Obviously you can use the cut tools for many other things that we will get to later, but that's the basics on how to cut and trim. Now we're going to talk about how to add music, sound effects, and voiceover. I use voiceovers, music, and sound effects all the time in my videos to add little funny elements and just, I don't know, it just makes the video more interesting. First, we're going to show you how to add music. Wondershare Filmora has an amazing copyright free music library that has lots of fun songs that you may recognize from my videos. All you have to do to find them is click on audio and then all of the music will show up here on the side. 
In order to play one of these songs and hear what it sounds like, all you have to do is double click on one of the songs. Once you have picked one that you like and you want to add to your timeline, all you have to do is select it and drag it down underneath the video. Once it appears there, you have added your music. You can change the volume of the music by shifting this middle line up and down, and you can even fade in or fade out your music by adjusting this little white piece um, to the left or to the right. To add a voiceover, all you need to do is click the little microphone button in the upper left area of the timeline. You can connect a microphone or just use your computer's microphone. You want to click the big red button in the middle when you're ready, and once it counts down, just start talking until you are finished. Then you click the red button again and OK, and it'll automatically be imported into your video and on your timeline. You can adjust the volume and fade in and fade out the exact same way you can with music. The last thing I'm going to teach you how to do with sounds is how to add a sound effect. Wondershare Framora also has a really great sound effects library that includes the sound that I like the best, the beep sound. However, if you want to add external sound effects, all you have to do is download them from the internet. Once you have them, you can go down to My Music, click Import, Import Media Files, and then just select your videos and they will be imported in as a sound effect. Did you see what I just did there? That was called a transition. I'm going to show you how to transition from one clip to another in a little bit more of a fun fashion than just a straight cut. In order to add a transition between two clips of video, what you're going to do is click on the transitions button at the top of the screen, and then you have tons of transitions to choose from on the left side. My favorites that I use in my videos are the blurry roll, the whirl, the warp zoom, and the linear transitions. In order to add one to your timeline, all you have to do is drag it down and insert it in between the two clips. You can also shorten or lengthen the transition by clicking on the edge of the transition and dragging it from left to right. Now I'm going to show you how to add elements and effects. Elements and effects really add some spice and some fun to your videos. I think you might be able to guess what I'm going to tell you to click on, and that is the effects tab. There are lots of really fun and interesting effects on here that you can get for free. If I wanted to add this effect, all I'd have to do is drag it down on top of the video that I am adding it to. Now let's say I only want it to run for 2 seconds instead of the normal 5 seconds that it puts in. All I have to do is drag to where I want it to stop, and then split it and delete the other section. You can also drag and trim it as well. It is a very similar process to add elements. Elements are fun little emojis or stickers you can add to the screen. I don't use these too often in my YouTube videos, but they can be really fun and helpful. To access your elements, click on the Elements tab at the top of the screen. If I wanted to add this element, all I'd have to do is click it and drag it to the top of the video that I want it to be on. Then if I want to shorten it, I can do the exact same process where I click and split and delete or trim. Also for these, I'm going to show you how you can move it to a different place on the screen. If you don't want it to be this big like it defaults to, all you have to do is click on the actual preview up here and then drag it and move it around to where exactly you want it to be. You can add and layer as many effects and elements on as you want until it gets a little bit crazy, but that's the fun in it. Now I'm going to show you how to crop and how to zoom. This is probably my most used feature in Wondershare Filmora aside from the split because it's just so great for comedic moments and to add emphasis to what you are saying to just crop in or zoom in. I'm gonna show you how to do that now. First, you need to split a section of the video that you want to be cropped or zoomed. Now you're gonna wanna click on the clip that you want to be cropped or zoomed and click on this little button up here that says crop. You can either crop it by dragging in this little box and showing exactly where you want it to be, or you can pan and zoom by showing where you want the video to start and where you want it to end using a similar situation. Once you're finished, just click OK and then it will be saved. You can always undo this just by going back into the crop screen and undoing whatever you just did and clicking OK. Now I'm going to show you how to add text. I love to add text both for comedic moments and to add information to the video that I didn't state in the actual video. You're going to want to click on titles for this. There are two different types of text. There's an opener that takes place at the video and you typically would just put that at the beginning of the video. In order to do that, all you have to do is drag your opener to the very front of your video or drag it to where in the video you would like it to replace. The other one is called either a title or a lower third and that one goes on top of your pre-existing footage. For example, if I wanted to do this lower thirds title, I would just drag this on top of the video and then I would trim it to the size I want it and then all I have to do is edit my text. 
Obviously, you don't want it to say your title here, so all you have to do to change it is double click on it in the preview menu, and then double click on it again, and then type in whatever you would like it to say. Once you're done, click OK, and now you have a fully saved text effect. The last thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to export your video. Once you're completely finished with your video and you've watched it all the way through to make sure you didn't make any mistakes, you're going to want to click the big button at the top that says export. From the export screen, you can choose however you would like to export it. You can export it directly to YouTube by connecting your YouTube account to Wondershare for more, which typically gets the best quality I have noticed. Or you can export to your own device and put it into a folder as an MP4 or one of these other types. <laughs> The best export settings, in my opinion, if you click on settings, if you just click on the best, it typically will show you the best settings for quality. But you can do more research if you want it to have a very specific type of quality or a specific type of frame rate that is not default. All you gotta do from there is click export and wait for it to finish. That is the beginner's how to edit a Wondershare Filmora tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it, and I hope that you will have a really great time editing your videos from now on. I love Wondershare Filmora, and I think that you guys would really love it too, so feel free to check it out. Link in my description. Not sponsored, just like it. If you have any more questions, concerns, comments, go ahead and comment them down below. Here's a shout out from the last video. Thank you so much for watching. All you have to do to be a shout out in the next video is either comment down below or DM me on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!